Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is that you're watching this video. I am Yanni Mood and I thank you so much for joining me today. This video is, we're going to get right into it, this video is the top five go-to exercises for simple fitness. Operative word here is simple. If it's too difficult or I have to do too many things, I'm not doing it. So any of you who are like me, I hope this video helps you. I got a lot of these tips um, just from experience, but also from my husband. Bless his heart. Um, you know, he's he's into fitness and he can he can work out hard and he can do it. And I try. Most days I try. Sometimes I don't try. Um, but he has really tried to help me simplify it so that I could at least do something. And that's what this, this video is about, us just deciding to do something. So I've simplified it for you and for me. All right, number one exercise is walking. Walking. I know we think that walking is for old people. <laughs> well, at least I did. Walking is not just for old people. It's for all of us. If you can't do any other cardio exercise, just walk. <sighs> I had to learn that. Um, five days a week, if you can. Five days a week, 20 to 30 minutes of each walk. Start small, start slow, start somewhere. Walking. Number two would be push-ups. Especially ladies. We need to increase our upper body strength. Shoulders, arms, upper back, chest. Yes, push-ups. I know they can be hard. You can do the modified push-ups, formerly called girl push-ups. I call them modified push-ups. Mm -hmm. um, for beginners and people who have no upper body strength like myself. Um, they really help. It really helps just in day-to-day -day tasks. So uh, recommended um, three times a week. Recommended three times a week. Three sets of ten just to get you started. And then as time goes on, you get better and you do more. All right. All right. Exercise number three, stretching. I have had to really learn this. Flexibility is so important. Actually, my husband has taught me this. He does a lot of stretching, um, which at first was different for me to see um, him stretching because, you know, men tend to be stiff, you know, because they do a lot of weights and, you know, and sports and stuff like that, which I was not aware that necessarily called for flexibility but I guess it would so anyway that was my own ignorance um, but flexibility is is very important for, for circulation for relieving stress preventing stress um, 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 preventing injury also um, while you're doing other exercises stretching for flexibility stress relief and injury prevention let's do it all right, then number four would be squats. Number four would be squats, working on our legs, strengthening our legs and our butts. Yes, and our ankles. Yes, strength. <laughs> squats, I hate squats. I'm just gonna be transparent here. I don't like squats, I don't but they work a recommendation for squats would be three times a week three sets of ten start there start slow start somewhere squats yeah and uh number five would be to take care of the core our core yeah the core our core can seem like an impossibility 
Especially when you've had babies. Especially when you like food. Not just food, carbs. Especially when you like carbs. That core, man. But we gotta do it. You know, the center of our body is, is good for um, our backs. You know, for, for the stability of our bodies. Having a strong core is important because, I mean, it affects a lot of the just day-to-day -day activities that we that we do, you know, picking up things, um, bending over, um, breathing, breathing. Um, you don't realize how important your core is to something as simple as breathing until you've injured it, you know. So anyway, core exercises, um, for me, it's planks. I don't do crunches. They hurt my neck. I don't do sit-ups. They really hurt my neck. Um, I don't know. I've never been able to do them correctly um, so that my neck doesn't hurt. So for uh, others out there who may have that same problem, planks. Look it up if you don't know what it is look if you don't know what they are look them up i cannot demonstrate them i will not make a fool of myself and demonstrate to you a plank this is just information mm -hmm. for demonstration go ahead and google it you can see um what those are about they're easier um for me to do they work i feel the results um if i'm consistent i feel the results um, it also helps um, your back, your lower back. It actually helps upper body strength. It kind of planks kind of cover um, a few areas of your body. They work for different areas of your body, and they work for me. So a recommendation could be doing them three times a week, and then doing ten of them, and holding them for ten seconds each. All right. Well, that's it. Thank you again for joining me. Um, it was a pleasure talking to you. If you have any questions, any comments, please don't hesitate to let me know. Um, yeah, this was great. This, this is always great for me, and I hope that it's great for you. Uh, subscribe and turn on notifications, and um, see you next time. Have a good one.